Hands on your head, show me that you're ready. Nice job. I'm looking for students to come to the carpet with their workbook. And what do we do when we come to the carpet with our partners? Share our notes. You got it. Share your notes. You have a partner in 10. Focus, focus. Everyone focus. You got it. So first thing we do is share our notes. Why is it important to take notes when we're reading nonfiction text? Uh, nonfiction text or fiction text? What do we learn? And what do you do when your classmate says something you agree with? Good job or I agree. Good job or I agree. Samantha, why is it important to take notes? It's important to take notes because if you um, forget like what it means. If you forget something, what do we say to that? Good job, Miranda. It's important to take notes because you can write down important information. What do we say to that? I agree. Tell me if you agree with this. Taking notes will help us write a written response if we're asked at the end of the story. I agree. I agree. Now, go ahead. Who can, on your post-it, see if you can summarize, put into your own words, using your notes, what we learned from yesterday's reading. Go ahead. Get, get two or three sentences on the post-it. Put it in your own words. What did we learn? Focus, focus. Everyone focus. Go ahead and read over what you have so far for your summary. Good job. Thumbs up if your summary includes adaptions. Very good. Go ahead and turn to your partner and teach your, wait, hold on. Go ahead and turn to your partner and tell your partner what adaptions are. Teach. Changes over time. Absolutely. To live. Focus, focus. Everyone focus. Thumbs up if you agree with Wall. What I heard was adaptions are changes animal makes over time to survive. Uh, I, agree. I agree. You guys did a great job with that. So, the next teach moment, go ahead and turn to your partner. What is this word? Environment. Teach. Okay. Focus, focus. Everyone focus. Thumbs up if you agree with what I heard. I heard environment is your surroundings the place you live. What is that? Is that true? Yes. I agree. So today, we're going to keep reading more facts. And we're going to be working on summarizing what we read into our own words and becoming an intellectual. What is an intellectual? Somebody that can talk about one thing? More than one thing. More than one thing. We want to be able to talk about many different subjects. And today, go ahead and turn your page. Some of you already did. Good job for being a learner. Ready? The words that I want you to key in on today as I read are instincts and traits. So as I read, I'm not going to tell you the definition. So as I read, I want to see students who are keyed in on new information, ready to record new information, so they can have strong answers later on and students who can come up with their own definition based on what we read. That's one of our reading strategies. When you don't know a word, you want to skip it and read the rest of the sentence. So, I'm looking for those pencils flaring. You should have power traits. Traits are the qualities that exist in DNA. They are physical traits, such as eye color and the shape of teeth, and they are instincts such as the urge to hunt or mate. I love, I saw those pencils, you saw. The author gave us the definition of traits. I'll repeat it. Traits are physical, such as eye color and the shape of teeth. There are also instincts, such as the urge to hunt or mate. Now, go ahead and turn to your partner and teach them what definition you have for traits? Teach. Okay. 
Okay. Yes, that is the question. What is it? Pocus Pocus. Everyone's focus. Now I've recorded a definition that you should have something near it or close to it. Instincts and traits are two different things. So if you have traits or instincts, is it correct? No. No, they're two different things. Instinct is a behavior animals are born with. And a trait is a characteristic that makes a person or animal unique. Go ahead and record that on the lines. Record that on the lines where it says, what are traits, instincts? Go ahead and write that definition on the lines. You can, no, keep yours. I want you to keep yours. Because that's your own summary. Go ahead and put the official definition for instincts and traits. I love it. Good job. Four. All right. Focus, focus. Everyone focus. Let's read it together. Instinct is a behavior animals are born with. What is it? Instinct is a behavior animals are born with. Teach. Okay. Do you have to teach instincts? No. No. Do you have to teach instincts? No. Hocus pocus. Everyone focus. If you're born with it, you don't have to teach it. That means one of the traits for a penguin, did somebody have to teach the no. penguins how to lay eggs? No. That was an instinct. And here is a trait. A trait is a characteristic that makes a person or animal unique. Let's read it together. A trait is a characteristic. Teach. Okay. Class, class, class. Yes, yes, yes. Whisper the next answer to this question in your hand. Don't share it. Whisper it and shake it up so you can spit it out nice and loud. According to the text. Wait a minute. Don't, I'll tell you. Wait. According to the text. Instincts. And traits help animals what? Put it all your hand in the hip. Instincts and traits. Instincts and traits. And I give you a clue. It's in the title of the book. Instincts, instincts and traits are adaptations. The word from yesterday that help animals release. Oh my goodness! Give yourselves a woohoo! Woo you guys get a point for that one. Good job. All right, I'll continue reading. In numbers. The bigger the group, the less chance they will have of being attacked. It also means they can help one another if one is attacked. Best of all, there is always someone to watch for predators. So this page, it talks about one way animals behave, one trait that they behave to do, to survive. Go ahead and summarize to your partner what we just read. Teach. Okay. What did we just read? What did it say? What did it do to survive? Focus, focus. Everyone, focus. All right, so today's response question is the next page in your workbook. Yeah, I see. I know you're ready. All right. It says, animal, it gives you the sentence starter. To summarize what we read today, animals work together in groups because, what, what, let's hear some of your summaries. What do we say to that? Good job, Miranda! Good, and I'm writing down some key words that your summary should have. Go ahead. The bingles are blue, the less they'll get attacked, and there's always somebody 
there is always strengths in numbers. What do we say to that? Good job, Lily. Thumbs up if you agree. Should your answer include the word? Yeah. Survival. Yeah. Survival? Yeah. Absolutely. Should your answer include? Yeah. Instincts. Should your answer include one of our text phrases? Our, our yeah. What is them? The text says, the author says, I know we can write according to the text. According to the text. Did we practice summarizing what we read to make our answer stronger? Yes. Did we learn some more information about a subject so we can teach? Yes. All right, so you know what to do. Go ahead and compose your answer. Thanking your partners. What kind of work environment do we need? Quietly and respectfully. Make sure your answer has a text phrase inside of it before you bring it up to check. You can try that.